Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your December reading. Please remember that this is general, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. It's also timeless and it's not gender specific. Because time and energy is fluid, it means that the roles can be switched, so please do bear that in mind if you're cross-watching. But because this is Aquarius' reading, I will be addressing them. It can easily be in reverse though, so always, always use your own discernment. You take what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't. I cannot censor, choose nor control what's coming out of the cards. I'm literally just reading them and it's up to you what you decide to do with it. You do have free will. Tarot is not in charge here. You are and for everything else please read the descriptions box. Okay so let's get into your reading for you then Aquarius for December and you've got number 28 and that's reduced into a 10 and 10s are all about completion, endings, renewals, cycles. And it says, this indicates working with others, uh, leading to potential disputes. Oh dear. Feeling unheard in a group setting. Right. So Aquarius, um, this is all about you trying to be heard. Um, that there's too much noise around you at this point in time. It's like everybody's got an opinion. Okay. Uh, I'm see with this one. I'm feeling that some of you might be having to sit and listen to someone else's opinion when you didn't ask for it. Right? That there is this overall feeling of resentment here. It's like you know what's best for you, no one else, and that there's someone close to you that seems to think that they know better than you do. Um, it, it's almost as if you're trying to use your uh, your feelings, like you, you're trying to feel your way through a situation and someone else is being really, really logical and there's, there's a bit of a clash here. That can be in reverse, but I'm, I'm not feeling that it is because usually you're the one that's very logical and open-minded and this time round it's like you're trying to do something by using your feels rather than all all up here. Um, okay, so there's a clash of opinions. Right, so I'm going to start pulling your tarot and we'll see if we can get any further clarity for you on this. Mr Aquarius, please, for December. Nine card spread for Aquarius, please. Interesting. Five of coins is your first card out. That's Tyrian energy. You've then got, ooh, the page of swords. Interesting. Air energy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and the Five of Wands. There's your, there's your drama and your dispute. With that Five of Wands, it's Leo energy. Um, hmm. Two Fives with a page of swords right in between. It's not a great way to begin a read, I'll be honest. But let's push on and see if this gets any nicer for you. With your two fives, that indicates change, loss, fear of loss, fear of the unknown as well. Um, so something is unknown. Okay. Will someone see your situation from your side of the table? At this point in time, that's your unknown. You've got the seven of swords, that's Aquarius energy. Hmm. Pick your battles very, very carefully, Aquarius. Okay. You've got the sun in reverse. It's Leo energy and temperance. It's Sagittarius. There may be trouble ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, Sagittarius, the Four of Wands. That's Aries. Uh, the Fool, that's Uranus, so that could be your energy, it doesn't have to be. And the Hermit, Virgo energy. Let's see here, you've got one, two, three, four, five major arcana in a ten card uh, spread. It was supposed to be a nine card spread, never mind. Right, if you just give me a second, I'm going to move these cards so that I can get them all in the frame so that you can see them clearer. And I might speed up this bit of the video for you as well. Okay, 
It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, so let's begin with your uh, overall energy, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. Heavy, heavy Sagittarius energies. Now, if you're not dealing with any of the zodiacs that I've shouted out, okay, don't worry about it. It's just a, a little bit of extra information for those who are curious about the zodiacs. Um, as I was saying, there is heavy Sagittarius energies in this read. Now, obviously, if you're not dealing with a Sagittarius, you could have it somewhere in your own chart. Or this is just the overall feeling of you wanting excitement, wanting adventure. Um, that This feeling of, it, it's like an overall feeling in your energies at the moment of being very bored, very discontent. Um, feeling that you're not living up to your full potential as well. Uh, this, this restriction, it feels like it's coming from within rather than something or someone outside of you. This feels a lot more internal. And with this here, this could be an internal conflict as well. It's like part of you wants to go out and seek adventure. Um, and explore the world but then the other part of you is stuck with the things that you need to take care of and on a like day-to-day -day basis um, so it, it's like uh, your responsibilities is your priority right now and it feels like you have to put the things that you want to do on pause and it, it's kind of building up this frustration all right, that's what I'm feeling with that Knight of, uh, excuse me, with that Knight of Wands. And there you go, hidden under it was the Ten of Wands, um, Sagittarius energies again. Yeah, as I was saying, a heavy burden. Um, I'm going to avoid repeating everything that I've just said, but it's confirmation, literally, of, of what I've already been over, okay? Um so with this, your five of coins, your page of swords and your five of wands, again, that internal conflict, um, it, there's kind of wonderlust here with this five of coins, right? Some of you are feeling restricted by your finances as well. So you're currently trying to figure out new ways with that page of swords on how you can increase your finances. Um, any kind of additional skills that you might have, any ways that you can branch out, uh, that sort of thing. As a side note, Aquarius, if you're dealing with a specific individual, the chances are quite high that they are sitting there, they're, they're watching you, um, they're, they're beating around the bush with the Page of Swords, keeping an eye on you, checking out like social media and stuff like that, missing you as well, um, and having feelings like really strange feelings bubbling up to the surface. Um, there's definitely conflict here, okay? Whichever way I'm looking at this read, there is still conflict. Five of coins, five of swords, seven of swords, the sun in reverse as well. Um, the sun in reverse can indicate disappointment. It can indicate somebody not being truthful especially with the page of swords standing on his head as well. Um, you've also, you've got a gossip in your energies as well. So they're saying here to pick your battles carefully, which I think I said that uh, right at the start when I initially saw that card. I said pick your battles carefully because there might be trouble ahead. Um, they're saying here to go slow, be patient and do not be reactive, okay? It's going to be really, really tempting for you to want to put somebody in their place throughout the month of December. You, you're going to find yourself in a situation where, unfortunately, the best outcome for you, Aquarius, is to bite your tongue. I'm really, really sorry to say that, but just temporarily bite your tongue, okay? Um, because there's something here that can potentially backfire onto you and it would have you looking like the bad one, all right? So obviously we're trying to avoid any kind of outcome like that. 
Um, there, there, there is jealousy here as well, okay, with the five of wands. Um, you have been feeling like you're walking on eggshells around somebody in particular because they're very, very prone to these uh, spats of jealousy. Okay, and it could it could be them that is currently keeping tabs on you. Um, as I say, that this is a really bizarre reading. Um, there's definitely this desire here for you to go out and explore and see what else is out there for you. This is very much a mind over heart decision. You're biding your time though and you're playing your cards very close to your chest. You're also sick and tired of the lies, of the jealousy, um, of having to walk on eggshells as I said. You're tired of being uh, everything that you say to them is taken out of context and it's gotten to the stage now where you're unsure if they're doing it deliberately to cause an argument so that they can be center of attention or if they genuinely are misunderstanding what it is that you're saying. We then have the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands. So it's saying here, Aquarius, when the time is right, you will regain your stability, okay? You're gonna come across something that is worth you investing your energies into. And I'm feeling for the most part that yes, this is something new. We do have the fool here with the hermit. You're re-evaluating your current situation. You're understanding that it wasn't all that it was made out to be with the sun being in reverse, right? There's some kind of sacrifice here that you might have to make as well. Even though I'm not seeing the hanged man energy, I'm definitely feeling this in your energies, Aquarius, the hanged man. You're waiting, you're waiting for some kind of an epiphany, you're waiting for some kind of a good idea um, because you've done that self-reflection with the hermit and you've accepted this current situation. It cannot go any further and you're just basically waiting for the right time. I'm feeling for some of you, you're waiting until like the new year or you're waiting like right until after Christmas or something like that. This is close, okay? Whatever this decision is pertaining to, the action behind the decision that you're making, it's close. I mean, it's so, so close that someone else around you is actually picking up on your vibe. Like they can feel that you're slipping through their fingers and they do not like it. So, of course, you're dealing with someone who, as, as we've already said, they, they are very, very prone to jealousy. They can be quite spiteful as well. Um, this is going to trigger them to pick yet another fight with you. OK, so I, I would just be mindful of that. Take that into consideration, but absolutely do not allow that type of energy to stop you from living your full potential. OK, because I'm seeing it here, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands. The direction that you're currently facing is the direction that you want to be going in. But, but the direction that you're standing in currently is this energy is here. This is really, really similar to the Capricorn energy. So some of you could have Capricorn in your chart or you could be dealing with Capricorn because their reading was really, really similar, like spookily similar. This is really interesting because it's showing me that you have come to this decision here by yourself without any outside influence. It's like you've gone looking for the truth within a situation You've gone searching for the truth, searching for the answers, and you found them. You found some kind of evidence. And that evidence was needed in this decision making. And you've got the Ten of Wands under there as well. Interesting. 
Yeah. Can you please clarify five of coins, page of swords? Thank you. Right, Queen of Cups, that's Cancerian. And the page of coins. Right, so that's to clarify your top row. Your five of coins, page of swords, five of wands. Um, interesting. You... <sighs> See, we've got either a child or someone who's being childish, someone who is being emotionally immature, to clarify those three cards there. Cross watchers, please bear in mind as well that this can easily be in reverse, okay? So this could be an Aquarius who's being emotionally immature towards you, okay? It can swing that way as well. Um, you could be dealing with someone who is a lot younger than you here, Aquarius, but you don't have to be. It's about the energies. If it's not someone who's younger than you, then it, it could be immaturity, as I've said. Um, this, oh, Aquarius, some of you are dealing with an individual as well who uses their emotions as a weapon against you. It's like whenever they feel that you're not given to them, what they feel they want from you, then they withdraw their emotions. They become really bitter and just manipulative. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords, the Sun? Thank you. Okay, so we've got the Chariot, it's Major Arcana for a Cancerian, and the Nine of Cups, it's Piscean. Um, wish fulfillment. So we've got seven swords, sun in reverse. Something hasn't worked out. You're patiently biding your time, waiting for an opportunity. Some of you could be planning on traveling with the chariot as well. And there, there's a wish fulfillment here moving ahead towards your wish fulfillment. Why is the Wheel of Fortune? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Two of Cups, it's Cancerian. And the Six of Swords is, uh, it is Aquarius energy. If you give me a second, I can remember. It's Mercury in Aquarius. So, yeah. Um, there's something here about using your logic, using your logic to move away from a situation. See, we've got a partnership here and then moving away. Yeah, th this is really, really similar to Capricorn. Really, I, I, honestly, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you might want to go watch that video, like for real because this is literally someone waiting for the right time so that they can move away from a current situation. This could be as well, see, I could flip this around again, Aquarius. This could be you making the decision to, uh, to stop dating and to settle down with somebody. It could be that as well. But I have to go by what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. I'll get some further information. Fool and the Hermit, please. Why is this here? That's the Ten of Cups. And I'll just shift it over without actually moving it. It's come out off balance. Oh dear. Can you further clarify, please, for Aquarius? Thank you. Queen of Coins, Capricorn energy, in upright stability. So is this you? seeing behind someone else's mask here, Aquarius? Are you seeing someone in their true colours here? 
Is this what's happened? And now you're constantly walking around on eggshells around them because you've seen them in their true light and you didn't like what you saw. Could it be that? And now you're trying to make an escape plan. Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands. What's that? That's the tower under there. And there's six of coins. So you were giving more than what you were receiving in a situation. Or vice versa. Again, cross watcher, it could be you were given to Aquarius more than Aquarius was given to you. Always do bear that in mind. It can be flipped. Okay. Someone is feeling used and they're feeling like they have to tiptoe around a situation. They feel like they cannot have a conversation with their person of interest. Um, they feel that every time they try and have a conversation, that person becomes really emotionally immature. They twist everything around to suit themselves. They're really bitter, spiteful, jealous. It's caused instability within a, what I'm seeing is within a relationship. And somebody could also be uh, withholding finances as well from the other person to stop them from breaking free. This is abuse. This is very, very abusive. I'm going to try and get more clarity. Um, under there, good news is though, you've got the Ten of Coins. That is amazing. Uh, the Ten of Coins is Mercury in Virgo energy. And it's like, th this is you, right? You know that you're worth far, far more. You know that once you leave this situation, not only is your finances going to improve, but your overall stability, your emotional stability, your mental stability, and your future. You can actually make plans, make plans for the future and know that you're going to be safe and secure and well catered for because you're going to make it happen. But right now, right now it's like you're playing for time. Some of you might have been um, segregated away from your family as well, for some of you. Ah. Okay, can we further clarify this read please for Aquarius? I've been getting really weird reads this month for everybody. They've all been a bit bizarre. Anyway, if you've made it this far into the reading, <clears throat> then please do consider giving me a cheeky wee like, a subscribe or a comment, maybe even all three if you're feeling really, really generous. And thank you so, so much to all of those who have already supported my channel. It genuinely does mean the absolute world to me, so thank you. Can you further clarify? Aquarius, please. Right, sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honour, protection and power. Right, made with love, a gift from the heart, sentimental, an offering or a contribution, try new things, be in there and support. Friend zoned, still friends, just friends, someone like someone else, only as a friend, not relationship material. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. And the document, text or email, agreement, letter, separation, divorce, contract news, legal papers or proceedings. I did ask to clarify your entire read, Aquarius. And it's done exactly that. It's clarified your entire read. You're playing for time. 
you know that a situation is over and you're playing for time you're waiting for the right moment to uh to break this news basically um you it, it's almost as if you see with this even after everything aquarius you're still trying to do this in a really compassionate way you're still trying to do this without causing any unnecessary drama. You're still, even now, you're still thinking about the other person. Can you further clarify, please, with a healing message for Aquarius? For Aquarius, please. Bison ritual. Okay, number 35. And that is reduced into an eight. And eights are all about advancement and evolution. So with these cards, I always say that you get three messages. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. And it says, live with authenticity and peace. Wow. Do not live how other people wish you to live. Your life is yours. Bringing the peace of ritual into our lives can heal us, nourish yourself and develop habits that are beneficial and useful for you and your family. The magic of the bison is an ancient one that asks us to put aside the everyday and connect in with the natural world and that of the spirits. Having everyday rituals is an important touchstone for mental and spiritual help. Keeping to a good and positive ritual and habits for ourselves is something with which the bison can help us. Yeah, the, the main thing that really hit me in the face there was do not live how other people wish you to live. Your life is yours. Because it's that that has led you to this point, Aquarius. You trying to live up to the expectations that others have laid out for you. It's worked against you. It's really sad. Really, really sad. A further clarity, please, for Aquarius. Thank you. Right, so you had a nice big jump there. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. It says, I am where I am, and that's okay. Um, I'll try and read it, but it's tiny. You'll soon know where you stand. Uh, you need to take some time out. It's time for you to share your wisdom and experience and avoid falling into a slump. So you are where you are and that's okay. That's like, um, don't resent yourself for you having made the decisions that is taking you up to this point because that resentment is just going to hold you back, okay? Um, you're dealing with it as best you can at this point in time and right now. <laughs> right now, that's the best you can do. Okay. What's Aquarius's focus, please, for December? Aquarius's focus, please. You've been dealing with someone who's quite smug as well. The magic of pretending. Okay, so this is your focus, Aquarius, for December. It says, visualize the ideal situation. Be detailed, play the part, see it as manifested. Speak it into existence and be certain. Okay, so it, it's saying here to work on your visualizations. Um focus on what you do want to see in your life <clears throat> rather than what you don't want to see in your life okay um if you can write things down as well you might find that that would be really helpful to you at this time just as so that you can physically see 
what it is that you're aiming for, okay? Further clarity, please, for Aquarius. Someone feels a bit duped as well. Very duped. Mercury, mind. Uh, Mercury is Gemini and Virgo. It says, use your words wisely. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Words can be used against you. You already know this though, because you're already getting everything that you're currently saying twisted around and bent all out of shape. You know, we, we saw that really, really clearly in your first three cards. Um, so yeah, be, be careful about what it is that you're saying at this point in time. Uh, this pertains to speaking, travel, speed, uh, speed, adaptness, adeptness, arguments, technology, be, beware of gossip, scandals, uh, someone joking over serious matters and tricksters. Mm. Mercury retrograde, reinvention. Any important action should be postponed. A time to revise plans, take backups and make, and don't make a big purchase. Unusual and fated meetings, misunderstandings. Um, there's more to the situation that is yet to come to light. Interesting. Revelations across the board here, Aquarius. On a side note, be careful about your PCs with that combination. Be really, really cautious about viruses, uh, weird websites, online scams, that sort of thing with that particular combination. Okay. Make sure that like your virus checkers are all up to date and everything. Um, obviously don't click on any dodgy looking links, anything like that. Just be really, really careful with your technology over the next month. Um, some of you might find as well that you've got a tracker that's been put on your phone and just need to put that out there. Okay. Um, if you can take your equipment to a professional and get them checked over, that would be ideal. Someone's definitely got a tracking app on their phone and that's how that's that's how that page of swords is coming in. Someone jealous is absolutely looking for bullets to fire at you, basically. They're, they're looking for ammunition to use against you. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, Obviously, watch what you're saying as well. Make sure you've got backups of everything. If you have to talk to someone, Aquarius, make sure that you do it uh, through either text or email where you've got like physical evidence of what's been said both ways, okay? Because for those where you're having someone twist everything that you say, twist it around, they're, they're going to have a much more difficult time of doing that if you've got the entire conversation either through email or text. All right. We have further, oops. We have further clarity, please, for Aquarius. Thank you. Third eye chakra. Right, your third eye chakra. That is all about intuition. It deals with insight and is blocked by illusion. It pertains to uh, clairvoyance, intuition and your psychic senses. Signs. There will always be signs to guide you on your true path. And it's suggesting that you might find lepidolite. That's L-E-P-I-D-O-L-I-T-E. 
You might find lapidolite beneficial for you at this time. There's signs and synchronicities around you at this time. It's like your spirit guides, uh, the universe, whichever name you prefer to give it. They're, they're trying to take you by the hand here and they're trying to get your attention. So be on the lookout for synchronicities. This could come in through numbers, song lyrics, your dreams. It could come in through any number of ways. Pay attention to the signs and symbolisms around you, okay? Um, you, you're definitely being guided in the right direction here. Someone, someone has not. They're not who they've made out. Like they're not who they've made themselves out to be, and that is evident. And we have had that a few times in your read, Aquarius. We have. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, then I always give a warning for this Rebel deck, okay, because it can be quite uh, brutal, abrasive, um, really offensive as well. So if you're not into that sort of thing, then here is your cue to sign out. Right, it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out your ass pronto. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. Some good shit is about to happen. Do not let your issues fuck it up. You are loved. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Rebel, because fuck it. Do you know what, Aquarius? That's what you do best. Rebel, bucking against the system. That That's you all over. Is like literally the word rebel means Aquarius. So, yeah, that is what I have for you, Aquarius. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.